In the last video, I've introduced you to the Mentos Risk Score, a new way that Mentos is using to rate its lending partners. Now, if you are still investing on Mentos, you might want to use this score to adjust your auto-invest. In this video, I will show you an alternative auto-invest strategy and introduce you to one methodology you could be using when evaluating in which lenders to invest and which you should be avoiding. As we have witnessed in the past, it's important to pick individual lenders to decrease the risk that your lender will be suspended. Before we start, I want to point out that this video is not suitable for complete beginners. It's made for investors who are familiar with the fundamentals and understand P2P lending. If you're one of those investors, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm to support this channel. It takes just a split second and it really does make a difference. Unlike other Mentos promoters, in this video, I won't tell you to diversify across all lenders. I won't be recommending lenders that don't pay interest on delayed payments, since I'm not a fan of lending money for free. And I certainly won't be recommending lenders that have no exposure on Mintos, meaning they actually don't list any loans on the platform at the moment. I will also not be using outdated third-party ratings, but will rely only on the tools Mintos is providing. And one more thing you should know. This is not a copy-paste strategy, but a simple and healthy methodology you can use to make informed decisions based on facts rather than empty promises and beliefs. So, enough of ranting, let me introduce you to the concept of this P2P investment strategy that you can use to set up your auto-invest. We'll be investing in the better half of Mintos lenders, we will only aim to invest in companies that pay interest on delayed payments, and we will aim to invest only in loans with a loan period shorter than 12 months. I believe that this is quite a reasonable strategy that can be used by any P2P investor. But what do you think? Is this something you could agree with? Let me know your investment strategy for P2P marketplaces in the comment section below this video. Alright, so what type of data are we going to use to pick our loan originators? We'll make it really simple and use only data that you can easily look up on your own. We will use the Mintos statistics, Mintos risk score and the details section of individual lenders. In this video, we'll be following a medium risk strategy, which means that we want to choose only lenders that score at least 6 points in every subscore that's presented by Mintos. In order to see the subscore, we need to navigate to the loan originator page and choose the tab Mintos risk scores. We want to choose only lenders that have a score of 6 in all segments. So we will use the filter option to narrow down our selection. We don't want to see lenders that don't list any loans on the platform or are suspended or defaulted. So we remove the score withdrawn rating. Now we have a list of 13 loan originators, which can be considered as the better half of Mentos partners, at least when it comes to the safety aspect. When we look at the risk scores, all lenders are in the low to medium risk category. What we do now is to write down all the names of the companies in a column. You can simply use a spreadsheet to follow up with me. In the next step, we need to segment this down to the country level as some lenders operate in multiple countries for which they don't reach 6 points in all subscores. From the loan originator Mintos risk score view, you can't always tell in which country the company is operating. So there are two ways to go about it. You can either navigate to the full list of lenders with individual subscores in Mintos blog post or you can click on every loan originator, scroll down to the bottom and see the companies under which the lender operates in individual countries. You can hover over the Mintos risk score to see the subscores for every segment. We prefer the first method, so let's look up all the companies from the list and write down the countries for which they reached a subscore of at least 6 in all categories. After you have done this for all companies on your list, we'll move to the next step, which is to look up the currently delayed portion of loans for our selected companies and countries in which they operate. In order to do so, you have to navigate to the Mintos statistics and scroll down to the loan performance details. On the upper right corner, click on the percentage button so you can see the percentage of the portfolio that is current. Now navigate to every lender and use the plus sign to expand the information for every country on your list. In the case of Mogo, we can see that the percentage of current loans differs in every country. Let's write it down on our list and repeat the same process for every lender. Now you should have three columns that show the lender, country and the percentage of current loans at the moment. 
Let's add another column and call it interest for delayed payments. In this column, we will note down whether the lender pays out interest on delayed payments. The goal of P2P lending is to receive interest and not to lend money for free. You can find out whether a lender pays interest on delayed payments on the loan originator page under the details section. Write down this information for every lender on your list. By now, you have already a solid spreadsheet with a lot of valuable information. You know exactly which companies in which countries have received a rating of at least 6 points in every one of the 4 segments that Mintos offers you to evaluate the risk of your investments. You also have the information about the percentage of current loans at a given time and you also know whether the lending company is paying interest on delayed payments. Now let's say you don't want to lend money for free. So you will exclude lenders that don't pay the accurate interest for delayed payments. By this, we have reduced the list to just 10 lending companies. Now it's time to copy the selection into your auto-invest. If you haven't created one yet, you can go to invest, click on custom strategy and choose the automated strategy. Now let's invest in Euro on the primary market. In the next step, select all the lenders from the list and pay good attention to tick the right countries and all risk scores of 6 or higher. You can also checkmark that you want to invest only in loans with a buyback guarantee since we have also considered the buyback strength in our methodology. After you have made your selection, scroll down and choose the interest rate that you want to achieve as well as the loan term. Let's say you want to earn at least 10% interest per year and invest in loans with a maximum period of 12 months to keep your portfolio liquid. In the last part of the auto invest, name your strategy, define the portfolio size and the minimum and maximum you want to invest in a loan. And also check the radio buttons according to your preferences. Click on show matching loans to get an idea on how many loans you will invest. Click on loan distribution and choose the radio button where it says buy number to view the number of loans segmented by loan type, country and loan originator. Now you can see that if you want to follow a mid-risk strategy on Mintos and invest in loans with a duration of just 12 months, you have the option to invest in just a few lending companies. Are you surprised by that? Because this is currently what Mintos is offering to its investors. Personally, I would go even one step further and exclude lenders that are lending on other marketplaces and pay good attention to the lenders that have overlapping shareholders with Mintos and other suspended companies. But that's just my own preference. Do your own conclusion and decide for yourself whether this is what you want to be investing in. Until Mintos has recovered investors' money, there is not really any reason why someone should invest on this marketplace. Just a reminder, there is currently 88 million euro of investors' money at risk. As you can see, even by following a medium risk strategy, there is not much to choose from at the moment. And just to be clear, this video is by no means here to bash on Mintos, but rather give you the additional information that you may use to make your investment decisions. We at P2P Empire want to bring more transparency into P2P lending and the goal is to educate you about all the aspects so you can actually make those informed decisions. And then on this note, thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video.